Hello children, I hope you are fine. I'm doing very well at home. I am Mrs. Zalopma Duridi and I am going to show you a video. This video has been presented by Padanjali Rishikul. So without wasting much of my time and your time, let's proceed to the video. Government Part 2 Types of Government There have been three types of government in the history of mankind. These are Monarchy Dictatorship Democracy Monarchy In monarchy, a monarch has the absolute power to run the country. When the monarch dies, the power automatically passes to the eldest child, usually the eldest son of the monarch. People have no right to choose their ruler. Monarch alone decides how much freedom the people will have. Bhutan, a neighbor of India, has this form of government. Dictatorship in dictatorship, all the power rests in the hands of one person or a small group of people. Such power is often obtained by force. People who challenge a dictator are punished severely. The government rarely gives freedom to the people. Pakistan has for long periods in the past had this form of government. Democracy. The most popular form of government is democracy, in which people have the ultimate power to govern themselves. Each adult has the right to vote. The biggest advantage is that the people have freedom. Democracy may be direct or representative. In direct democracy, every adult citizen votes on every issue on which a decision is to be taken. This system can only work in a country with a small population. In most countries of the world, there is what we call representative democracy. In this, the people elect their representative who take decisions on their behalf. India and USA have this form of government. Representative democracy can be of two types. It can be parliamentary system in which the government is actually run by a prime minister and other ministers who are members of the parliament. Otherwise, it can be a presidential system in which a president is independent of legislature heads, the government. Britain, India, Australia and Canada are the countries that have adopted the parliamentary system while the presidential system has been adopted in U.S. Universal suffrage. The right to vote is called suffrage or franchise. In India, we have universal adult franchise. This means that all citizens have the right to vote. Suffragates British women organized a protest against movement against the government policies of not allowing them to vote. The participants known as suffragates chained themselves to railings, burnt the contents of the post boxes and smashed windows and street lights. One suffragate, Emily Davidson, died after she drew herself in front of the king's horse at Epsom Derby in 1930. Many suffragates were imprisoned and tortured. In 1914, when the First World War began, millions of men had to leave their jobs to fight for their country. Women supported the war effort by taking up roles that were earlier played by men. This made people realize that women were far more capable than they were thought to be. The suffragates too decided to protest uh, any more till the war was over. They were rewarded in 1918 when women aged over 30 got the right to vote. Finally, in 1928, British won, women won the right to vote on equal term with men. In USA, women are given the right to vote in 1920. Franchise and the Indian Constitution Right from the beginning, that is from the time our constitution came into force, 
all Indian citizens have had equal voting rights without any distinction between rich and poor, men or women. Thank you for listening to the video.